Hey everybody! I just fixed my goggles. Uh, they had the last day got all messed up, and so they got like hurtful to wear, and I hadn't been wearing them. I luckily found that I thought I was gonna have to go to the store, but some art project I was doing, I got some pink elastic, and it fits perfect. So pink elastic to match my hair now. <laughs> I hadn't been wearing my goggles, and what was funny is, you know, I usually get um, comments on the goggles. Can you see out of those? Oh, oh, there's fabric in the lenses. Um, <laughs> but, but when I wasn't wearing them, everyone was like, oh my gosh, your hair! And I'm like, yeah, it's been like this for the better part of a year. I mean, different colors, purples, blues usually red or pink. <laughs> it was like people noticed it for the first time without the goggles. You have crazy hair. How did I not know this? <laughs> Apparently my hair is iconic, which is cool, I suppose. <laughs> oh, fun times. Uh, yeah, fun times. Fun times. As much as my life has kind of been taking a crap on me. Um, but, you know, <laughs> karma seems to have gotten me confused for someone who's horrible. <laughs> but when life gives you lemons, you gotta, you know, make lemonade, some lemon pie, lemon castle, be king of lemon town. <laughs> that's, I, that's, I, I am king of lemon town. <laughs> that is my new title in life. But, you know what, I try to, the bright side, the silver lining and all of the, the sparkly things of like, hey, <laughs> this sucks, <laughs> but I'm going to pretend it doesn't. I found, like, you know, being newly single, once again, I, uh, I am very productive. So there's there's a good thing. Like I this week I I spent time with a number of my friends. Um, I have many more plans for the next upcoming weeks to spend time with lots more friends because I actually I, I just got back from a trip uh, to California with my seven year old brother and his friends and oh my gosh five days with a bunch of children. Oh, I need some me time. Uh, to all of you parents out there, good job, because that's not, that's not easy at all. Well, I'm not a kid anymore. My favorite thing about Legoland was, uh, the salad. It was good. It was a huge, big salad. I'm trying to eat better again, and I, being productive, I worked out this week, which I need to get back on that bandwagon, like, can't be superwoman. <laughs> without uh without working out, being in shape and stuff. So I need that. That's something I plan on trying to do more of and it's a good way to get out all that uh, frustration. Um and then I uh I, I started writing again. That's that's the big thing. I, I wrote chapter sixteen of uh The Chronicle of Rosalie, which is my post apocalyptic novel that I'm working on. I, you know, I, I got out a chapter today, actually, earlier today. Oh, my cats tried to help me with that by, you know, leaning on the screen and stuff, as cats do. <laughs> but that's, you know, I'm being productive. I'm getting things done and doing it up. <laughs> I, I have plans to keep doing that, and then, you know, I'm going to uh, have a, a trip that will actually be a vacation to Kansas and Chicago. Um going to see me some Lollapalooza. Uh... But it's it's gonna be, I'm, I'm 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 taking what's given to me and making the most of it because that's all you can do. Because sometimes things don't go as planned, things don't go as you wish they would, and you just you, should, you got the cards you dealt, and you got to make the most of it. And that's what I'm doing with life, you know. Because otherwise, I'd go insane. And you're watching this, and you're like. Yeah, you already have. I'm also going to try to get some more items for uh, my wardrobe, uh, hopefully next week. Go out with, with my girlfriend and to uh, get, some, get some more clothes. And a lot of people 
will probably be like, oh yeah, because you're so into style, Miss Fashionista thing. I get that a lot, like, people think I'm really into style, and I'm like, no, I'm really into being weird. <laughs> like, that, that's probably, I like being weird, and I go to thrift stores, and I find something that's weird, and I'm like, hey, I should buy that. Uh, good, <laughs> good example is, is, uh, my dearly departed mom and me were at a thrift store some years ago, and she knows I'm weird, <laughs> or knew I was weird, and, uh, she was like, you would like this. <laughs> And, um, and I, uh, she was like, it's only a dollar. And, you know what, I, I love, this is why I love thrift stores. Can you see this guy? Is he not, like, the most fantastic thing you've ever seen in your life? Like, look at, look at all of them. It's, <laughs> it's pretty much the best thing ever. <laughs> um, it, it's like a stick figure zebra horse with a tassel tail. <laughs> it doesn't quite fit me right, so I think I'm going to cut it up and make it a wall hanging. Because I'm, I'm in love with that shirt. It was a dollar. So I'm, I'm not a fashionista. I just don't like looking like everyone else. I like looking weird. I would, I'd rather die than have to look normal. <laughs> so I just, I just go and find weird things to accessorize myself with. And, uh, and yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing. I don't, and this isn't, this is not about fashion. This is just about like, hey, my hair does this. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> like, I'm just a weirdo making the most out of life. And I hope you do too. And if you have, like, any, uh, advice for making the most out of lemons <laughs> and life and things and being weird and how you're weird because I'm sure you are if I've ever known you <laughs> because only weird people in my life I the normal people I'm like you can go away I want weird people in my life because I love you all all of you even you normal people I, I'm not prejudiced <laughs> heart to everyone and see you next time.